Okay, so I've had a hard time making this video because I've tried to pinpoint the reason for doing the thing that I'm doing, and it's kind of convoluted. And I'm, you know, this is obviously going to be much more of a rambly video. So if you're not into that kind of thing, uh, please forgive me. But you are know, switch off and go watch something else. I have many other videos. Go watch one of those. They're much more organized than this, which is. Uh, definitely going to be saying something because none of my videos are organized and um, this one is going to be much less so so it's gonna be really weird so anyways uh, recently I've decided that I'm moving all of my stuff from github to GitLab. now for those FOSS advocates out there you'll know that this is probably a good idea for many reasons github is owned by Microsoft and all this stuff uh, whatever I would like to say that I'm taking the you know the the FOSS highway and moving to GitLab because it's free and open source, and it's not owned by a major corporation. I'd love to be able to say that, but really, that's not true. I don't. I've never really had a problem with Microsoft owning GitHub. It doesn't bother me all that much. I'm not. I'm not saying that Microsoft is an angel and has never done anything wrong. That's obviously not true. Just look at what they're doing with the default browser situation on Windows 11. Obviously, they have some issues. But I don't really care that they own GitHub. GitHub seems to work fine. The problem is, really, that GitHub doesn't work well for me. And there are reasons why, and I'm going to talk about those. But I wish that the reason I was switching away from GitHub to GitLab was because of the FOSS reasons. But really, it's because of the problems that I've been having with authentication on GitHub itself. Now, for those of you who don't know, I think it was either this August or last August. All I remember was one of the last two Augusts. August is August I. I don't know. Um, all all I, all I know is it was in this past year or so that GitHub went through and changed the way they do authentication in CLI uh, from being your username and password, which was what you also used to log into the website, to an like an API key or something like that, and. That was a fine fine thing. It probably made things more secure. And despite the process for moving from your password to an API key being a little bit convoluted, I managed to do that on time whenever that deadline happened to be. And it was fine. And I know that it's not the greatest way to connect to GitHub. You're supposed to use SSH. But it, like I said, it was fine. It worked. For a long time, it worked. And then my computer decided to crap the bed. You know, I had, I've talked about this before. But I, I had problems. I ended up having to nuke and pave my Gruda install and went back to my beloved Argo. And since that time, I've been having problems with Git. Or more specifically, I've been having problems with GitLab. So uh, usually what I've been doing in the last few months is just been using Git Kraken in order to push all my stuff up to GitHub. And that process still works. Like, it's still fine. But I've been trying to use the CLI interface for Git a little bit more because I want to become more familiar with it. That part hasn't been working for me. Now, I set up SSH. I followed all the documentation for SSH on the GitHub, in the GitHub documentation. And I got SSH working and it worked fine. But it won't let me connect to GitHub that way. It keeps asking for my username and password. Now, if you'll remember from a few minutes ago, you'll know that I told you that GitHub supposedly no longer allows you, allows you to connect to their servers with your username and password. So what the hell is going on? I don't know. It doesn't make any sense. I did some Googling, and it's just a convoluted mess. Their documentation on GitHub is just kind of utter garbage because it just doesn't make sense half the time. There's things all over the place. It just is not great. So I was like, well, I can either stick with Git Kraken, or I can just use my new username and password, which is supposedly really insecure. But what I decided to do was move on to GitLab. And I did that because of the authentication issues that I was having, but also because the GitLab experience that I've experienced for the first time over the last week, because we moved, Tyler and I moved all of our Linux cache show notes over to GitLab from using Notion. And I found that I really liked GitLab. Like the the dark mode on GitLab is, I mean, this is obviously the first thing that I noticed because you know I'm a I'm a ricer, so of course I'm going to notice the theme first. But the the dark mode is actually a dark mode. It's like dark instead of blue. I mean, it's like really stupid. And I have the same problem with Twitter. Twitter's dark mode is is blue by default. I mean, you can change it, but still, it's I don't understand. Like if you're going to use dark mode, it's got to be 
point of dark mode is to be black. But anyways, I mean, that's just the first thing I noticed about GitLab. But also, the documentation for GitLab is actually really good. I walked through the SSH uh, instructions, got it up and running, managed to push all of the show notes and stuff to GitLab in the first go. It was, like, really simple. It was really easy. There was no convoluted steps. It just worked. And uh, that kind of won me over. So last night when I was having problems, again, pushing stuff from my computer up to GitHub, I was like, you know what? Screw this. I'm done with GitHub. So I moved all of my stuff that has normally been on GitHub up to a GitLab repository. So really, I am now on a free and open source platform away from GitHub, which I can you know, be proud of. But also I can be away from the mess that GitHub has become in terms of authentication, because I'm a sh- I'm a- I'm sure that whatever's happening with the SSH authentication key slash username and password thing is just a me problem. I'm sure I'm doing something wrong, but the documentation isn't helping me solve the problem. So yeah, I'm done with GitHub, and really I had no other topic to talk about today. So I thought I'd do a little bit of a ramble about why I was doing this, but I probably just kind of rambled for ten minutes, and you know didn't say all that much so i'm if 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 you have forked or have been following any of my stuff on github just know that that none of that stuff is going to be updated again i'm just gonna i'll leave it up there but it will all stay as it is now if you want the more updated stuff you'll have to get to my gitlab which is going to be in the link of every video description starting with this one so uh, yeah, if, if you want to get to my Suckless Utilities, you want to get to my Invent, NeoVim, you want to get to any of my dot .files, they'll be uploaded to my GitLab page now instead of GitHub. So uh, that is it for me on this video. If you want to get in contact with me, you can do so via Twitter at LinuxCast. You can support me on Patreon at patreon.com slash LinuxCast. Before I go, I'd like to take a moment to thank my current patrons. Devon, Chris, East Coast Web, Gen 2, Swan 2, Patrick L, Primus, Marcus, Megalyn, Jack Snipe, Tool, Steve A, Sid A, Mitchell, Art Center, Amateus, Merrick, Camp, Joshua Lee, J-Dog, the BSG's Rock, and Peter A. Thanks everybody for watching. I'll see you next time.